Kripke with Mindful Minute and today is February 18th and the reading is about when feeling stuck. I can relate to that certainly. The same stream of life that runs through the world runs through my veins. Rabintha Tagore. We are so achievement oriented that we often surge right by the true value of relating to what's for us because we think that accomplishing things will complete us. When it's, it is experiencing life that will. Yet if we can outlast the urge to judge everything we encounter, a miracle starts to surround us in which painting, music, poetry, running water, flowers, wind through trees, open vistas, all touch and draw out their counterpart that lives quietly within us. The 19th century poet Gerard Manley Hopkins called this inner terrain in inscape, inscape. And just as no landscape can flourish without sun and water, our inscape must be irrigated and drenched with many forms of life if we are to thrive. So when feeling stuck or disconnected from the miracle of life, as will happen to us all, try to listen, see, feel, and just take in. Try to let the energies of life stir their counterparts within you. In order to be whole, suspend your criticism. For life is not a matter of taste, but of awakening. Not a matter of finding things pleasing or disturbing, but of finding things completing, not a matter of liking or disliking, but of opening the geography of one's soul. And the activities for today are, this is a meditation done to music. Close your eyes and listen to a piece of music that is new to you. As you breathe evenly, allow yourself to feel you like or, dis your like or dislike for it and try to let that go. As you breathe, allow yourself to meet the sheer energy of the music and with sheer energy of what is new in you. So, so feeling stuck is something that I think happens to all of us. And as he addresses in the beginning, this whole accomplishment oriented, task oriented, life that we all lead, <laughs> most of us, I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for me and most of my experiences, it is all about what can you get done, how much can you get done, how quickly can you get it done, and it does take away from noticing the beauty or the situations that I'm in on a daily basis. It's to it completely takes me out of my element and I'm, I'm either anxious or worried. You know, when I'm not noticing what I have to be grateful for, when I don't take my time in the morning to get centered, I'm, I'm rush, 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 rush. I'm a human going instead of a human being. And I, I love the reminder of it's almost like your senses. Get back to your senses. And I hear a lot of times the the be where your feet are. Where are your feet? Be there. Don't be in what I need to do when I get home. My laundry, my this, my that, my that. Or I can't be in, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. That is so silly. I'm, you know, blah, 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 judging, judging myself, judging others. It's nonsense. And, and it can go on and on and on. There's no stop to that. That can happen. I can be in that forever, never, never, never if I choose that. And in fact, before I got to recovery, before I did all this self-work, um, this journey inward to figure out how not to be miserable all the time, before that happened, that's how it was. And that's why. Because I was constantly unsatisfied where I was at. And, and I'm not saying that everything has to be beautiful roses all the time, but I think for me, and it's this, this inscape he talks about, I think for me having an inscape that's whole and knowing that 
I'm doing good, that I'm all right, you're all right, everything's going to be all right, because most of the time it is. And when bad things happen, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. I don't know how we do it, but we do. We get through. I've gotten through 100% of my days so far. So I think it's been much less difficult since I've decided to take this new lifestyle and this journey of this uh, taking care of myself inside so that I can be present and available and being reminded of this is just, it, it, it's so good for me and I hope it's good for you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be well. Namaste.